It is true what they say, Florence is the city of love. And this is not just because it has a lot of romantic things that you can do with your partner or friends, but also because you're guaranteed to fall in love with the city itself. Florence is the type of Italian city that has it all, so you're really going to need a plan if you want to visit it. And trust us, it's worth visiting. Florence is known as one of the world's most cultural and historic sites, and it's packed full of amazing architecture and places of significance. The capital of the Tuscany region of Italy has a wider metropolitan population of 1.5 million people and a well-developed rail network that has connections to Pisa and Bologna. Today, an average of 13 million people visit Florence each year, and tourism is undoubtedly a major part of the economy of the city. If you're looking for a trip filled with culture and want to see some fantastic buildings, such as the Duomo, then Florence will not disappoint. Here are the top 10 things to do in Florence. Number 10. Palazzo Vecchio Located in the heart of Florence, Palazzo Vecchio was originally built in the early 14th century as the place of the Signoria, the governing body of the city at the time. Today, Palazzo Vecchio is a symbol of the city's cultural heritage while also hosting a museum inside. Visitors can admire its magnificent architecture from the outside, including the impressive tower that stands over 300 feet tall. On the inside, tourists will enjoy beautiful frescoes, sculptures, and other works of art that showcase Florence's artistic legacy. Beside the museum, Palazzo Vecchio also houses the offices of the mayor of Florence and serves as a venue for important cultural events and exhibitions. Number 9. Ponte Vecchio Ponte Vecchio is a world-famous bridge spanning over the Arno River, and it is well known for its unique architecture and historic significance. The bridge was originally built in the Roman era and has undergone several reconstructions over the centuries. Today, it is lined with shops selling jewelry, art, and souvenirs, which makes it a popular tourist destination. The bridge is also home to several other historic landmarks, such as the Vasari Corridor, a long hallway that connects the Uffizi Gallery to the Pitti Palace passing over the top of the bridge. Ponte Vecchio has survived numerous floods and natural disasters over the centuries, and its enduring legacy has made it one of the most iconic landmarks of Florence. Number 8. Mercato Centrale if you want the authentic Italian experience in the heart of Florence, then Mercato Centrale has to be on your two-visit list. This vibrant food market is housed in a beautiful 19th century building and is a popular destination not just for tourists, but for locals too. You will find a variety of fresh and local products in the market, including meat, cheese, fruits, and vegetables. The market also has a food court where you can taste classic Italian dishes as well as international cuisine. Mercato Centrale is not only a great place to sample local foods, but also a cultural experience that showcases unique flavors and traditions of Florence. Number 7. Basilica Santa Croce a stunning church located in the heart of Florence, Basilica Santa Croce, also known as the Basilica of the Holy Cross, is considered to be one of the most important Franciscan churches in the world. It is well known for its beautiful Gothic architecture and rich history. Inside the church, you will find stunning frescoes, intricate carvings, and beautiful stained glass windows that adorn the walls. This basilica also happens to be the final resting place of some of Italy's most famous artists and writers, such as Michelangelo, Galileo, and Dante Alighieri. As a result, it has become a popular tourist destination. Number 6. Piazza della Signoria Known for its beautiful architecture and stunning sculptures, Piazza della Signoria is a popular tourist destination and a hub for locals. One of the most famous landmarks in the square is the Palazzo Vecchio, 
which has been the seat of government in Florence since the Middle Ages. The Loggia di Lanzi, an open-air sculpture gallery, is another popular attraction within the square as it features statues such as Benvenuto Cellini's Perseus with the head of Medusa and Giambologna, the rape of the Sabine women. This square also serves as an important gathering place for political and cultural events, making it a central part of Florence's history and culture. Number 5. Galleria dell'Accademia If you want to see the iconic statue of David by Michelangelo in its full 17 feet, then Galleria dell'Accademia is the place to visit. The gallery also features other notable works of art, including pieces by Florentine Renaissance artists such as Sandro Botticelli, Domenico Gerlandaio, and Andrea del Sarto. In addition to the permanent collection, the gallery also hosts temporary exhibitions and educational programs. So, if you want a glimpse into the rich cultural and artistic history of Florence, Galleria dell'Accademia is the place to go. Number 4. The Duomo, Cadral di Santa Maria del Fiore. Designed by Filippo Brunicelli, the distinctive dome of this cathedral stands at an impressive 376 feet tall, and it's easily recognizable among all the other buildings in Florence. The exterior of the church is also clad in colorful marble and features stunning Gothic and Renaissance architecture, including the iconic bell tower designed by Giotto. Inside the Duomo, you will find intricate frescoes and stained glass windows, as well as a number of important works of art by famous artists such as Donatello and Paolo Uccello. The Duomo is a beloved symbol of Florence and a testament to the city's rich cultural and architectural heritage. Number 3. Boboli Gardens The Boboli Gardens were designed in the 16th century for the Medici family, and today they are considered one of the finest examples of Italian-style gardens in the world. As a visitor, you will get to wander through a series of terraces, fountains, and sculptures, as well as enjoy breathtaking views of the city. One of the most notable features of the Boboli Gardens is the Buontalinti Grotto, a cave-like structure decorated with stalactites and sculptures. But also, while there, don't forget about the Isoloto, the island in the middle of a large pond that is surrounded by cypress trees. The gardens will provide you with a peaceful and beautiful escape from the bustling city center. Number 2. Galerie degli Uffizi One of the most famous art museums in the world, Galerie degli Uffizi is home to an unparalleled collection of Renaissance art, including works by Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Raphael. Initially, the museum was built in the 16th century as administrative offices for the Medici family, and only two centuries later it was converted into a museum. Visitors nowadays get to marvel at some of the world's most iconic works of art, as well as lesser-known pieces by other important artists, all under one roof. Number 1. Piazza Michelangelo on the south bank of the Arno River, located on a hill, you will find Piazza Michelangelo, a breathtaking square that offers stunning panoramic views of the entire city. The square can be easily accessed by car, bus, or a steep climb of a flight of stairs, but once at the top, visitors can indulge in the sweeping views of the city's historic center, including landmarks such as the Duomo, Ponte Vecchio, and the rolling hills beyond. The square is named after Michelangelo Buonarroti, the famous Renaissance artist who lived in Florence for many years, and it is also home to a replica of his David statue. Which famous Florence landmark would you visit first? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoy videos about traveling, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon, so that way you'll be notified each time we post new content. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again in our next video.